Support for Windows 7 has officially ended. Uh, Danny Palmer here with us for ZDNet to talk a little bit more about this. And Danny, uh, obviously companies that haven't taken steps up to this point yet uh, in preparation for this day, uh, they're gonna be scrambling. So just talk a little bit about what it means now that support has ended and we'll just kind of go from there. What it basically means is Microsoft will no longer be providing updates or patches for the Windows 7 operating system, which has now been operation in operation since 2009. Um, it's had quite, it's had a long life by uh, operating system standards, but it now means that Microsoft have basically taken to not supporting it. So Patch Tuesday happens every month. You no, know, Microsoft released a bunch of updates. Uh, a lot of these are security based. Uh, now, um, as of uh, Patch Tuesday this month, it's the final one. As of next month, there'll be no more uh, no more updates for Windows 7, uh, which means that if your business is still running on Windows 7, you're not going to have any uh, official support from Microsoft unless you've uh, taken the decision to pay extra for continued support. But that's going to cost a lot of money for uh, running an operating system that even Microsoft itself is saying you probably shouldn't be using this anymore because it's old. Yeah, and Danny, and you know, uh, people can't say they didn't know that they didn't know this was coming. This is something we've been talking about. I know here at ZDNet uh, and Tech Republic for a long time, and uh, you know, some companies have taken steps, some haven't. So let's just talk about the risks. You know, what are people opening themselves up to uh, if they haven't done anything yet? To put it bluntly, it could open them up to being victims of new types of cyber attack. I mean, we've seen over the over years with Microsoft releasing uh, security updates when vulnerabilities are found in operating systems uh, that uh, they're introduced so those vulnerabilities are closed um, and the attackers can't, you, can't exploit them if people have actually uh, applied the patch. Now with Windows 7 being unsupported, if vulnerabil new vulnerabilities are discovered in Windows 7, Microsoft now are under no obligation to uh, provide that security update to, to users, which, uh, which means that if, uh, say for example, a new zero day uh, or a new vulnerability occurs and is discovered in Windows 7, attackers could easily use it to uh, compromise Windows 7 systems, be it to implant malware, be it to uh, conduct phishing attacks, be it to try and steal details, because there won't be this support. Um, Microsoft and other bodies, including the uh, UK's National uh, Cybersecurity Agency, have urged people who are still running Windows 7 to upgrade to a, another operating system, that being you know, Windows 10, most likely, uh, as soon as possible, and to replace these unsupported devices because, yeah, it, 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 it's ultimately leaving them open to uh, some sort of attack. Uh, the worst case scenario, which has been discussed by some security researchers, is a WannaCry uh, type scenario where um, when the Eternal Blue vulnerability was leaked uh, a few years ago, that uh, spread like wildfire across Windows, Windows systems. And it meant lots of people fell victim to this attack, lots of people, lots of organizations. Um, back then, XP was unsupported by Microsoft. But because of the extreme nature of this particular vulnerability, uh, Microsoft did actually provide a patch. But in most cases, that won't that won't happen with, if Windows 7 vulnerabilities are, are uncovered. So, yeah, the, the advice coming from many security people, coming from uh, the national security agencies, coming from Microsoft, is to make sure you've upgraded your ecosystem to Windows 10 because your Windows 7 does not have support anymore. But it's interesting that there's still, an S, there's still thought to be hundreds of millions of users still using Windows 7 after all this time. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens next. And if there is some sort of new vulnerability discovered in, in Windows 7, um, which you know, vulnerabilities are being discovered in it even until, well, th this year. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens if something does come up and if users are just left but left left behind um, because 
they've been warned about this is going to happen, but a lot of organizations still haven't made that jump, be it because they just like Windows 7, they don't see the risk or they, they can't afford it. But it's, yeah, interesting times ahead with this. Yeah, certainly, Danny. And I think a lot of people, you know, sometimes we just like to think it's just not going to happen to us or that the risk doesn't apply to us. But unfortunately, uh, it could be catastrophic for some companies if they don't do anything. Uh, so really great information uh, to pass on here, Danny. We appreciate it as always. And for more on uh, Windows 7, make sure you check out ZDNet. Thanks for watching. Thank you.